morning class uh, today we are going to start with the chemical properties of haloalkanes okay that physical properties is still left in that the optical isomerism and all that that i will discuss after this okay so let's start with the physical proper chemical properties in this chemical properties we are supposed to note few points that is they do not undergo addition reaction because they they are sp3 hybridized so for sure they will not undergo addition reaction what they will do only undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction and this one is the important one this is the most important one okay and the second one is elimination reaction and the third is reaction with metals so today we will discuss only this nucleophilic substitution reaction and for next uh, this elimination reaction and reaction with metals we will do later on okay so let's start with this types of nucleophilic substitution reaction it is also known as sn reaction substitution s for substitution and n for nucleophilic so this is of two type sn1 reaction and sn2 reaction so sn1 reaction is like unimolecular one means first order reaction and unimolecular okay so this is unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction follows first order kinetics okay and the rate depends only upon the concentration of the substrate if there is any reagent then also it doesn't depend upon the concentration of that reagent it only depends upon the concentration of substrate it occurs in two step okay and the most important thing that is occur in polar protic solvent we know that polar means uh, electronegative difference should be there and protic that means it should give h plus ion okay so step 1 what to it uh, as i told you that it occurs in two step so first step it will lead to formation of carbocation okay so first the carbocation will form first the carbocation will form okay formation of carbocation as re reaction intermediate and this is uh, described by that uh, we have done that tertiary benzylic carbocation then the second then uh, allylic carbocation then tertiary secondary and primary hydro uh, carbocation will be there like that okay so here we are talking about the uh, haloalkanes so obviously benzylic and uh, that will not up, uh, what we say that will not occur it will simply give you the tertiary secondary and primary we will talk about yes now second is once the carbocation will be formed that means higher the stability of the carbocation faster will be the formation yes so faster will be the reaction we can say and second thing the nucleophilic attacks to the uh, second step once the carbocation is formed second thing the nucleophile attack will be the uh, nucleophilic attack will be there to produce the final product okay out of that we can say that the uh, rate will determined by the two step the rate will be determined by the rds that means rate determining the step that is the slowest step okay in sn1 reaction since carbocation is formed as a reaction intermediate so retention as well as inversion inversion both pro, uh, products will be possible what does it mean retention that means uh, let uh, let me explain with you uh, example okay so if retention and inversion both occurs so that means that is racemization is possible okay so what these things we will discuss one by one but for racemization the carbocation must be stable कार्बोकेटाइन जो होना चाहिए वो सबसे ज्यादा स्टेबल होना चाहिए देन ओनली इट विल फॉर्म ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस इन एस एन वन एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टू डू फर्स्ट लेट मी कवर दिस पॉइंट इन एस एन वन ऑलवेज गिव ऑलवेज गिव्स बोथ रिटेंशन एंड इनवर्जन बट इन केस ऑफ मोर स्टेबल टर्शरी कार्बोकेटाइन inversion dominates over retention this is the important point that in case of more stable tertiary carbocation inversion dominates over retention that means inversion will occur with uh, in comparison to retention that inversion will dominate got it so let's see in this case we can see that this is the tertiary carbocation this is the one carbon and here it is one this is the two this one is back and this is third so that nucleophile is coming going out and this next electrophile is going to attack yes in the same direction from where this 
uh, nucleophile is going out, the red one, big one, and this one nucleophile is going to attack. Got it? You can see that? Yes. So let's uh, do the mechanism over here. This is the mechanism. First case, BR is this like this, okay? This is the secondary carbocation. Here, the slow step, it will be our bond will uh, bond will break on this side. It will have uh, plus charge and bromine minus. This will be a planar carbocation, sp2 hybridized. So planar carbocation. So since it is planar, so attack can be from the front as well as from the back. If it is occurring from the front side, this group will form, okay? And if it is occurring from the back side, this which will be attached, this group will be attached in the back side, okay? Now in next case, let me explain this. This is GIF, so I can't even stop it. So just wait. If like we form this and this is here in this case, what will happen? This bond will break on this and this will come out. It will come out. CS3OH is going to attack over here and this will break. So this form CS3O. In this case, this H will come out as CS3OH here and this bond will form over there. So that was the mechanism. I hope it is clear. Yes. So let's do with this SN1 energy diagram. If you check the SN1 energy diagram, it will, since it occurs in the two step, as I told you that it occurs in the two step. So we will see the two transition states. This is the transition state one and this is the transition state two. Okay. This one will be the intermediate. Ye intermediate hoga. The forming of carbocation is an endothermic step. Endothermic step ka matlab what will happen? That energy of product will be less than energy of reactant or greater than. Tell me. Energy of product will be greater than the energy of reactant. Then only it will be considered as endothermic reaction because delta H will come positive and delta H come positive. So that's why it is endothermic reaction. You know that delta H is equal to, <coughs> we'll say that HP minus HR. HP minus HR, isn't it? So here we can see that here this is the product for this intermediate one. So here it is that energy is this much, isn't it? And the reactant energy is this much only. So what will happen? Carbocation is the, here it is formula. So for this the product is a step ke liye. This one is a product. So product ki energy this much, isn't it? And reactant ki energy this much. So HP is greater than HR, that means it is coming positive. And if it is coming positive, that means it is an endothermic reaction, okay? Step two will be very fast with a low activation energy because it's here activation, you know, if I will ask that this is the step one and this is the, yeah, this to this is a step one and this to this is a step two. So tell me in which case the activation energy is low. Obviously step two, because look, here the activation energy, if I will check, this is the consider this will be the activation energy, isn't it? Ye hoge activation energy. But if we'll check this activation energy, in this case it will be like this, this much activation energy. That means due to the low energy activation energy, the second step will be very fast. Formation of carbocation only will be slow, okay? And formation of product will be very fast because of low activation energy. Did you get that? Two times you can see that this is the two curve, two peak. If you see, that means it is the SN1 energy diagram. I hope it is clear. Okay. So this is factors affecting SN1 reaction. There are a few points that you are supposed to learn. So let me do this. Okay. So now we will uh, understand about what are the factors which affect SN1 reaction. Okay. So let's do one by one. This is the reactivity that is directly proportional to carbocation. Higher the carbocation stability, higher will be the reactivity of that alkyl halide. Because, you know, uh, let me draw this example. Like if it is this, if I'm drawing. Since SN1 depends upon the carbocation formation. So if, if this is, uh, it will easily lose the halogen. Why? Because it is going to form tertiary carbocation, isn't it? So 
as fast as tertiary carbocation will form, that faster this reaction will be, isn't it? So reactivity is directly proportional to stability of carbocation. Now, if you check that unsaturation at alpha carbon unfavors SN1, what does it mean? Unsaturation at alpha carbon unfavors SN1. See, this bond is going, this is sp2 hybridized, yes. So that means here the uh, double bond is there. That means this bond is not going to break easily. Ye resonance is stabilized and this bond is not going to because of this lone pair. This will shift over here. In this case, the carbocation formation is not possible in this case, isn't it? And that's why this reaction is, this is unfavored. This unfavors the SN1. Okay. Now the next thing, unsaturation at the beta carbon. That means allylic, it favors, it favors, okay, allylic favors. Cassie, because see, if the Cl minus is going out, this is going to form carbocation and this carbocation is resonance stabilized. So that's why here easily it will remove. But in this case, the Cl is bonded to the sp2 hybridized. That means it is reson it itself is resonance stabilized. And hence, this bond is not going to break. That means carbocation formation is not so easy in this case. But in this case, carbocation formation is easy and the stable one also. So that's why it will favor the SN1. Okay. Now, if we check the factors affecting SN1 reaction, that is the heteroatom at alpha carbon favor SN1 reaction. Heteroatom like this, the same way, because if it is remove, moving out, this is carbocationic formation. So this carbocation is stable due to this back bonding. We can say this is uh, uh, oxygen is having lone pair. Yes, it is having lone pair of electron and it will easily stabilize this by the back bonding. Back bonding, if you are confused in this i have uh, uploaded a video for this back bonding you just watch this properly and get the idea okay so that's why this stabilizes the carbocation so that's why what will happen this uh, will favor the sn1 reaction okay now presence of carbonyl at beta carbon unfavors sn1 if you check this so why how it is unfavors q unfavor See, if it is going out like this, if it is coming out, this will form carbocation. And this carbocation, to overcome this, this double bond will shift over here, due to which this oxygen will have plus charge. Isn't it? Did you get that? So, oxygen cannot bear the positive charge on itself. That's why it is, uh, this this unfavors the SN1. Clear? Pudikar? Okay. Now, if you check that factors affecting SN1 reaction, more factors are there. So, uh, substituent at the bridgehead carbon highly opposes SN1. This is also I have explained in this uh, that uh, uh, according to the Brett's rule, this chlorine or the uh, positive charge or the sp2 hybridized or you can say that the electron deficiency at the bridge carbon is not stable condition. So that's why this will not lead to formation of the carbocation and hence it is highly opposes got it according to the bread's rule bread's rule okay now if we talk about the next thing that means there will be no reaction in this case okay reactivity of sn1 is directly proportional to power of leaving group jitna easily move ho jayega utna faster sn1 reaction hoga and that will lead to the basicity uh like means jitna easily wo group jayega reactivity sn1 ki utni fast hogi but uski acidic character basicity means acidic nature will be lower because uh, if that the tree is going to be uh, if it is forming the you can see that power of living group it is going. It means it is carbocation formation. Okay. So, reactivity and uh, agar, matlab, easily move ho jayega to easy, uh, faster reaction ho SN1 ka. And that will lead to the less acidic character. The basicity will decrease. Got it? Polar product solvent will highly flavor, uh, favor the SN1 reaction. Polar product solvent, I have explained you. That means the electron, uh, what's it? Electronegativity difference should be there and protic, that means hydrogen, H plus ion, it should give. Okay. 
presence of heavy metal ion increases reactivity of SN1. So you can see that any uh, heavy metal, like if it is Rx and I'm going to do a reaction with this, any heavy metal like Ag plus Lelo, Pb plus Lelo. So what will happen? This Ag plus is going to react. It will, it will take the X, X minus, okay? And will lead to the R carbocation formation. So carbocation formation will be faster because it is going to form a compound of AgX. So this can be heavy metal. We can say Pb also, okay? In this case, AgX. So that's why it is going to lead the carbocation formation and hence it will give the faster reactivity. Now other types of nucleophilic substitution reaction that is SN2. Another type, SN1 we have explained, now SN2. So SN2 that means it is second order reaction, okay? That means in this case, the reaction depend, the rate of reaction depends both on the substrate and the nucleophile. I hope it is clear. Yes, it is single step reaction. Here it is single step reaction. Transition state is formed. We have to consider that only the transition state is formed. The more the stability of the transition state, faster is the reaction. Jitni zada transition state stable hoga, utna faster ye reaction hoga. So retention product here because it is not going to generate the carbocation. If the carbocation is not generating, though the nucleophile cannot attack from the front side and hence retention hone ki chances bilkul nahi hai haan pe. So only 100% inversion product will be there. Got it? This is also known as Walden inversion. You say hum Walden inversion kehte because the scientist Walden has given this inversion. You can see that this group is coming out. Dekho, it is not going out. Dono attach hoge. Yeha halka sa recall ke. Yeh attach hoge. And then it is going to remove. Yes. So the uh, the nucleophile which is already attached is going first. Uh, is Both are added. And then it is going from the front side. But then another nucleophile is attacking from the back side. So let's do the mechanism for this. This is the mechanism. Here it is the alkyl halide OH minus. This is going to attack from the back side. And due to this OH minus will be here. It is the transition state. Got it? Br and OH both will be there. And after that, the Br minus will come out and this will form this compound. Got it? So this is the mechanism. The nucleophile attacks the alkyl halide 180 away from the halogen. And this is the transition state forms. Simultaneously bond breaking and bond formation will be there. And finally, the nucleo, uh, next, uh, the first which was added in that will come out and the compound will form. Okay. Now, SN2 ki baat kare ka di energy diagram, it will give you just one curve because it is one step reaction. Okay. So, yaha jo transition state hogi, is ki energy sabse zada hogi. Transition state is, a, uh, is highest in energy. And SN2 is one step reaction. Got it? Koi dikkat nahi hai. Is it clear? Okay, so next if we move that factors affecting SN2, what are the factors which can affect the SN2 reaction? So that is the steric hindrance at alpha or beta carbon always decreases SN2 reactivity because in the SN2 we know that the nucleophile is going to attack from the back side. If there will be steric hindrance, it will not allow the nucleophile to attack from the back side and that's why SN2 reactivity will be hindered. Unsaturation at alpha carbon unfavors SN2. The same thing you have here, it will be that uh, this group is not going to, because in, in from the back side, the new, that uh, carbocation is not, like the transitional state cannot form. The nucleophile cannot attack from the back side because of this double bond character. Heavier group, it will be considered as bond length shorter. Hoga. So that's why the nucleophile cannot attack from the back side and hence it is unfavorable to SN2. Hope it is clear. Unsaturation or heteroatom at the beta carbon, which is allyly considered as favors SN2. How it is? See, uh, this is the, the whatever the transition state with, uh, stays will be formed. So it will uh, generate the partial positive character over here, isn't it? It will generate over because of this partial negative. It is not going out completely, but it, here it will be partial negative, and here it will be partial positive. So this partial positive any electron deficiency will be overcome by this double bond okay so that's why it will stabilizes the transition stage so let me write this stabilizes the
it will stabilize the transitional state. Similarly, in this case also, if it will generate the positive charge over here, and this is partial positive and this is partial negative. So this electron will go on this case and then double bond in over here. It, it got it. So this hydrogen will shift over here and this double bond will come over here. So this will also stabilizes the transition state. So that's the reason you have to just uh, know this point that unsaturation or heteroatom at the beta carbon favors the SN2 mechanism. Here also bigger the uh, more the bond length more easier will be the leaving group and hence faster will be the what uh, SN2 reaction. Yes got it. Now if you see that in this case uh, um, other uh, things are also there that it is uh, like if I'm giving you ketone or uh, some like RCOCS2 X group or something uh, uh, what we say benzylic carbon benzylic halide. So there will be different order for that. Okay, actually next uh, uh, let's move the it will polar a uh, protic solvent. It highly favors the SN2 reaction. Polar aprotic, polar that means electron deficiency, uh, sorry, electronegativity will be there and aprotic ka matlab kya hoga? It will not uh, need to, it will not give the H plus ion. So examples of polar protic are like uh, dimethyl ether or DMF or DMSO, okay? uh, or acetaldehyde which is like polar, which is having polarity but no H plus ion generator or donor. Let me draw this structure as for example if I am giving the CS3CO so here due to this electron between difference is there but it will not give you the H plus ion isn't it? DMF ki baat karte hai agar hum so this is dimethyl formamide this is called dmf okay dimethyl similarly another example will be dmso that means in isme kya hoga so will be attached with a two methyl group soo will be attached with a two methyl group so that's why dmso okay so these are the example of polar aprotic solvent okay concentration of nucleophile and its nucleophilicity affects reactivity nucleophile ka kya concentration hai aur iski nucleophilicity kya hai that will also affect the reactivity now what is this nucleophilicity that we have to understand so let me start with this nucleophilicity if i am saying that reactivity of incoming nucleophile is known as nucleophilicity matlab do nucleophile to attack what is the reactivity for this that is called nucleophilicity, okay? Generally, nucleophilicity of charged species is more than the neutral species of same reagent. That is uh, to be learned, okay? Like OH- minus will have more nucleophilicity than the H2O. Neutral se zada hota hai charge ka with the same reagent if it is making. Decrease in left to right in a period and increase from top to bottom. As we move top to uh, left to right, it, it goes uh, like... Uh, the size decreases and hence the tendency to lose the electron will decrease. Got it? While when we move from top to bottom in a group, atomic size increases and hence that uh, uh, removal of or donation of a uh, lone pair of electron will increase fastly. Okay. Now, nucleophilicity is directly proportional to basic city in polar aprotic solvent. This is the reason that means uh, jitna zada wo electron donate dene ki chan, chan, matlab, uh, what we say power hogi tendency hogi utni hi zada basicity hogi polar pro aprotic solvent mein. like this it is inversely proportional to new uh, electronegativity also so that's why f minus ki least hogi oh minus ki usse thodi se. and cs3 is the least electronegative to uski sabse zada hogi got it okay Nucleophilicity of halogen in polar protic solvent will be F minus ki zada hogi Cl minus Br minus I minus F minus electronic smaller size more electronic repulsion. So if we will compare with the I minus or Br minus or Cl minus the lone pair is not that much stable over here. So it will donate the lone pair electron. So that's why nucleophilicity will increase. Okay. Now next is this is the things we have to learn that you can see that in this uh, uh, how it is moving f minus oh this is increasing but when we like it is um, 
if we go in group it is going to decrease so that is the reason here the more solvation larger effective size lower potential energy these are the three factor which will decide that nucleophilicity trend um, in h2o or other protic solvent water mein kya hoga iska okay protic solvent we are talking about few factors are there which can affect the nucleophilicity that is the charge first it is charge so as i said that conjugate base jo honge that will always be a strong nucleophile than it's a uh, than the it's uh, than it's a, a neutral species yes so oh minus will have more nucleophilicity than the water similarly nh2 minus will have more than ammonia hs minus will have more than h2s so in this case also you can see minus 1 will have more than this एसिटिक एसिड से ज्यादा होगी एसिटेट की फिनॉल से ज्यादा होगी फिनॉक्साइड की सो दिस इज द रीजन रीजन क्या है न्यूक्लियोसिटी इंक्रीजेज विद इंक्रीज इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी ऑन एन एटम जितना ज्यादा इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी बढ़ेगा इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिपर्शन बढ़ेगी एंड टेंडेंसी टू डोनेट द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल इंक्रीज इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी अक्रॉस द पीरियोडिक टेबल न्यूक्लियोसिटी इंक्रीजेज विद डिक्रीजिंग इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी बिकॉज इफ इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी इंक्रीजेज the tendency to gain electron will increase isn't it but yahan pe nucleophilicity matlab tendency to lose the electron so that's why when we come group may top to bottom when we move nucleophilicity increases because of decreasing electron negativity so this is the case like if i am talking about this f o n so how it is going to decrease yes so, and this is like iski compound mein agar humne iska uh, neutral compound le liya so in that way also it will nucleophilicity is the donation of electron pair the less electronegative the atom the less tightly held those electrons will be and hence very fastly that lone pair of electron will be donated to other these two factors correlate strongly with basicity and this this is the two things which uh, explain the basicity yes okay now solvent if basicity we are talking about here is all our lone pair donor okay so here we are talking about the nucleus base clear chal uh, lewis base now solvent another factor is solvent two different trends operate depending on the solvent in a polar protic solvent nucleophilicity increases going down the periodic table agar hum polar solvent mein baat karte hain polar protic solvent mein baat karte hain to this increases going down the periodic table like i minus ki sabse zyada hogi br minus ki kam cl minus and f minus reason is i have explained because it is more electronegative so tendency to donate that means electrons are tightly packed and hence the, uh, hence the tendency to lose the electron will be decreased got it in this case also same reason examples of polar protic solvent that means solvent that contain hydrogen bond donor yani ki hydrogen bond denge hydrogen dega yes like water are there alcohol are there carboxylic acids are there reason kya hai the capacity of hydrogen bonding is highest at the top of the periodic table with increasing hydrogen bonding the nucleophile is more hindered through solvation through solvation kyunki jitna hydrogen bonding agar hum increase karte hain if we go down in the periodic table hydrogen bonding increase ho jati hai because uh, solvation increase solvation you know that the tendency to attract the water molecule towards it i have explained yes so solvation means the tendency to attract the वाटर मॉलिकल्स टूअर्ड्स इट सेल्फ सो जितना ज्यादा वहां पे होगा वो हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग बहुत ज्यादा हो जाएगी एंड दैट्स वाई द न्यूक्लियो फाइल विल बी मोर हिंडर्ड सो इट वॉन्ट रिएक्ट प्रॉपरली इट विल नॉट बी अवेलेबल टू रिएक्ट इन पोलर प्रोटिक सॉल्वेन न्यूक्लियोफिलिसिटी इंक्रीजेज गोइंग अप द पीरियोडिक टेबल अगर हम नीचे से ऊपर की तरफ जाते हैं तो पोलर अप्रोटिक सॉल्वेंट में इट विल इंक्रीज क्लियर सो एफ माइनस की सबसे ज्यादा हो जाएगी एंड आई माइनस की सबसे कम हो जाएगी जबकि पोलर प्रोटिक में क्या था एफ माइनस की सबसे कम एंड आई माइनस की सबसे ज्यादा थी गॉट इट क्लियर सो ध्यान रखेंगे इट इज इन अप्रोटिक सॉल्वेंट अप्रोटिक सॉल्वेंट में न्यूक्लियो जितना ज्यादा इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी इंक्रीज होगा उतना ज्यादा न्यूक्लियोफिलिसिटी इंक्रीज होगी ओके क्लियर सिमिलरली लाइक ओ एच माइनस एस एच एंड एस ई तो दिस इज अ ग्रुप is more electronegative so that's why it will be more uh, like it will have more nucleophilicity example of polar aprotic solvent i here it is written acetone uh, dimethyl formamide methyl acetonitrile dm so that is dimethyl sulfoxide 
yes two methyl group attached with the so group that is called i have example written over there reason here the nucleophilicity is essentially correlated with the basicity that means the lone pair donor tendency uh, jitna aasani se lone pair jayega uski basicity utni hi strong hogi got it so this is reason uh, related with this now next thing if we talk about the classes of nucleophiles clay uh, lone pair are nucleophiles each of these atoms donate a lone pair to an electrophile like ये देखो यहाँ पे OH minus is having more electron density, so that's why it will lose the electron to H plus. Similarly, this NH two and here it is. So, what will happen? This Cl will be in the tendency to attract the electron towards itself. So, this is going to give electron over here. Since it will attract, so here it will generate the positive charge, isn't it? And that's why this will be completed by this NH two. So here, uh, lone pairs are uh, nucleophiles. Kitra work karte hain. How it is working? That I am going to explain. Okay. In this case also, here the electron deficiency. This lone pair is going to attach over there as a nucleophile. Okay. Three important trends. Nucleophilicity increases as the charge on the atom becomes more negative. Jitna zada negative hoga, utna zada nucleophilicity badhegi. Got it? So it's quite clear that it is positive. So sabse kam hogi. And it is minus, so sabse zada hogi neutral hai, so that's why it will be in the center, in the between. Nucleophilicity increases with basicity also. Basicity, agar increase hoti hai, to nucleophilicity increase hogi. Got it? So conjugate base agar strong hoga, to that will be considered as uh, nucleophilicity increase hoga. So HF is you know that weak, uh, strong acid. To uska jo base hoga, wo weak hoga. Conjugate base weak hoga, and that's why nucleophilicity is ki. कम होगी, while CH4 is the weak acid, so इसका जो conjugate base होगा वो strong base होगा and that's why the nucleophilicity will be higher for this. Yes, got it? Any problem in this? Nucleophilicity increases with polarizability. Polarizability का मतलब ion की charge की. Polarizability is the character for an ion. We have done yes in Fasan's rule and polarization, polarizing power is the tendency of is the capacity of cation. So nucleophilicity increases with polarizability. That means, jitna size badta jayega anion ka nucleophilicity utni hi badti jayegi. Got it? So this is in the polar protic solvent. Ye polar protic solvent ki baat ho rahi hai. Now. Pi bonds also act as a nucleophiles. The big barrier to reaction is formation. Uh, reaction is formation of the cation intermediate. सबसे बड़ा problem होता है cation intermediate बनना. Once the cation intermediate will be formed, the reaction will be easily done. Anything which stabilizes this intermediate will make the pi bond a better nucleophile. जो भी कुछ इस what we say. इंटरमीडिएट को स्टेबल कर रहा होगा दैट विल बी कंसीडर एज अ बेटर पाई बॉन्ड को वो बेटर न्यूक्लियोफाइल एक्सप्लेन करेगा ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट इन दिस केस एडिशन ऑफ एसिड टू एल्किन बिकॉज इन दिस केस हेयर जस्ट रीड द लाइन प्रॉपरली Anything that stabilizes, anything that stabilizes the intermediate will make the pi bond a better nucleophile. Okay, so in this case, the chlorine is more electron negative. Okay, and the bond is going to shift over here. So here it will be carbocation. It will generate as a carbocation. Yes, and this Cl minus is going to attack over there. So यहाँ पे पाई बॉन्ड किसकी तरह काम किया न्यूक्लियोफाइल की तरह काम किया बिकॉज इट हैज जनरेटेड माइनस चार्ज ओवर हियर जिसकी वजह से ये सेकेंडरी कार्बोकेटाइन बना एंड दैट इज स्टेबल गॉट इट एनी प्रॉब्लम इन दिस एरोमेटिक सब्जेशन दैट वी हैव डन द फ्रीडल क्राफ्ट एल्काइलेशन रिएक्शन यस दिस इज सेकेंडरी कार्बोकेटाइन एंड इफ दिस पाई बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू Break on that, uh, like it is going to break on this side. It will have minus charge over here. Due to with this minus charge, this is going to attach, and here it will generate the plus charge, isn't it? So due to this, it is uh, a resonance stabilized compound. It is going to form, and that's why here the pi bond will act as a better uh, what we say nucleophile. Got it? Chemistry of enols and enolates. Enols uh, and enolates. <coughs> 
का मतलब होता है इन ऑल दैट मीन्स डबल बॉन्ड ओ एच इफ इट इज देयर डबल बॉन्ड एंड ओ एच दैट इट इज कॉल्ड इन ऑल एंड उसके अगर एच को हटा देंगे तो इट विल गिव द इन ऑल एड्स ओके सो इन दिस केस यू कैन सी दैट दिस नेगेटिव चार्ज विल कम ओवर हेयर ओके सॉरी दिस आर द टू डिफरेंट थिंग वन इज दिस इन ऑल एड एंड दिस इज इन एल डी हाइड ओके सो दिस बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू ब्रेक ऑन दिस साइड ड्यू टू दिस Electrophilicity will be uh, like here electrophile center electrophilic center will be generated yes and on this uh, what is this double bond is going to react with this and here uh, this is O minus okay this is this double bond will shift over here so it will generate the plus charge over here isn't it and that is with the minus here it is the minus if the bond shift and here it is plus so with this minus this bond is going to attach and it will form this so usually drawn as the re this resonance from uh, form to okay note how uh, breaking that bi bond leaves behind a carbocation in the each case like how this is uh, shifting and here carbocation generate here the ca carbocation generate here the carbocation generate so that is the important form that how the pi bonds act as a nucleophile okay now the key trend this is the key trend that reactivity of the pi bond increases when it is attached to something that can donate electrons agar pi bond kisi aise group se attached hai jo electron donate kar sakta hai to this will stabilize the electron poor carbocation intermediate jo carbocation bahut poor tha usko ye stabilize kar dega so like this you can see that double bonded is attached with the donor atom Double bonded is attached with the donor. Here, double bond is attached again. Double bond, double bond is attached with this O minus O group here also. So, uh, inductive effect it will work. So, in this case, the pi bonds all all have groups. So, these pi bonds all have groups that can stabilizes carbocation through resonance or induction. Inductive effect here, inductive effect it will work. Here also, this plus R effect will work. Here it is uh, double bonded. Yes. so this uh, but in this case ye kya ho raha dekho yahan this is attached with the electron negative group electron withdrawing group so that is going to destabilize the carbocation intermediate so none of these pi bonds are attached to the electron donating group and that's why this will destabilize the carbocation okay now sigma bonds can also work as a nucleophile here are some examples just look at this this is nabh4 okay this is nabh4 how it is going to this double bond will shift over here due to this that carbon yaha it will generate the electrophile yes electrophilic center so what will happen this bond is going to attach over here yaha ye pura h minus is going to attach over here okay so if it is attaching this bond is go over here shift ये अटैच हो जाएगा एंड इट विल लीड टू द बी एच थ्री फॉर्मेशन एंड दिस कैटाइन विल फॉर्म जो कि यहाँ जाके अटैच हो जाएगा आई होप इट इज क्लियर समझ में आ गई बात वन टू हाइड्राइड शिफ्टिंग फॉर दिस ऑल्सो आई हैव गिवन अ वीडियो प्रॉपर वीडियो दैट हाइड्राइड शिफ्टिंग एंड मिथाइड शिफ्टिंग हाउ इट वर्क सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट हेयर दिस इज सेकेंडरी कार्बोकेटाइन बट इफ दिस हाइड्राइड शिफ्ट ओवर हेयर इट विल लीड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टर्शरी कार्बोकेटाइन सो दैट्स वाई here this also this sigma bond will act as a nucleophile and this shifting will occur got it the oxidation step in the hydroboration reaction here also there is a complete mechanism but here complete mechanism is not mentioned over there so you know that uh, when this alkene reacts with the bh3 it forms intermediate compound like this in peroxide presence and at last it will give you the and al um, like uh, alcohol so this mechanism we will do in alcohol phenol ether proper uh, in chapter in that chapter properly so by the time just know this that here also it will act as a electron donor that means nucleophile ki tarah act karta hai okay now the next topic is the physical properties and the rs configuration optical isomerism and all that so lots of things are there and the very conceptual part uh, is there so that will be in our next video by the time watch this video properly make the short notes solve the questions and if there is still any problem just please let me know so enjoy your studies here till then thank you class